What's up, MMA fans? This is G here with MMA Hype Watch. And, yep, we're going to talk about it. John Jones versus Dominic Reyes at UFC 247. In our last video, we said that Dominic Reyes need to pull out some miraculous, you know, over-the-top skills, like something that John Jones has never seen to essentially beat him in their UFC 247 main event fight. And really... Dominic Reyes did not pull out anything that was miraculous, anything that John Jones has not seen in his whole entire fight career. But the difference between our last video and this video is the fact that Dominic Reyes surprised a lot of people, and to some people, he even won that fight. We're not going to say that he won that fight, but it looked very close. It looked way closer than the United States decision. It probably even looked like a split decision, maybe even a draw to some people. Joe Silva even said that it was possibly a draw. I mean, even when you look at the UFC strikes, per like some official UFC strikes, possibly from the UFC itself, it shows that Dominic Reyes outstruck John Jones three rounds out of five. But when you toss in a supposed takedown without any damage, that could have cinched one of those rounds for John Jones, which could have turned it into a three to two for John Jones, it still would have been way closer than a unanimous decision. So in this instance, Dominic Reyes completely outperformed anything that even I had going for him and even that most fans had going for him. Dominic Reyes deserves credit. He is the new Alexander Gustafson in terms of who John Jones needs to fight to prove that he is really the dominant GOAT that everybody believes he is. Even with a loss, Dominic Reyes proved three things about John Jones last night. One, it proved that fighters around the same physical traits as John Jones in terms of height, in terms of, you know, reach and physicality on average, John Jones cannot finish. Look at Anthony Smith, Tiago Santos, and now Dominic Reyes. I mean, we're even going to toss Ovin St. Pru in there. On average, John Jones cannot finish these guys. I mean, Alexander Gustafson in the second fight and everything, he got finished in the third round. Which, if you actually look at the record and everything, is the rarity in this case. The second thing that this has proven is that even though John Jones has cleared out the light heavyweight division... Twice now, the second generation of um, light heavyweights have proven that Jones is not as dominant and not as invincible as we were led to believe or as we MMA fans actually do believe. So when we start thinking about, you know, the next generation of light heavyweights and everything, I mean, we have what? Corey Anderson. We have, you know, Johnny Walker. We have like some of these guys who, you know, are coming up that have different talents that will be the third generation of light heavyweights to challenge Jones and taking anything from what we saw from the second generation of light heavyweights that Jones have went that Jones has went through it's that the third generation and everything somewhere in there might be the light heavyweight fighter to actually take that belt from John Jones and that's a weird thing to say considering how much MMA fans or hardcore MMA fans and everything revere John Jones as the current MMA GOAT. The third thing that we've learned from the fight at UFC 247 with Reyes is the fact that even John Jones fighting at heavyweight, if he's having problems putting away light heavyweights and John Jones putting on more weight, we're having a feeling that him being able to put away heavyweights in terms of punching power, in terms of, you know, striking power, you know, whatever, and everything is going to be a far away possibility versus what many heavyweights in that division can do to him. I mean, sure, a lot of them aren't as technical as John Jones, but you have heavy hands all through the top five, possibly even the top 10 of the UFC heavyweight division. I mean, you have you know, Francis Ngannou hanging around there. You have Curtis Blades hanging around there. I mean, Jerezino Rosenstrike, Derek Lewis, Volkov, you know, even Walt Harris is in there. 
and these guys can definitely put away people already in the heavyweight division much less a light heavyweight that has a problem finishing light heavyweights in his own division and out of all the fighters that john jones has fought in this second generation especially those are the three things that dominic reyes has proven you know watching him fight john jones at ufc 247 and that's a sobering reality when people want to believe in the invincibility of john jones and have something concrete like a mma goat and right now even as big as a john jones fan as as i am it even makes me doubt if going to heavy if going to the heavyweight division is a very good thing for him so hats off to john jones for the win at usc 247 breaking the you know title defense record but definite big credit to dominic Reyes for what he was able to go in there and do possibly even win the fight in a lot of people's eyes but also show a lot of gaps in the invincible armor of john jones he deserves big credit for everything that he that he did in there and we didn't give him credit and now we're going to give him credit and and say that if john jones were to vacate and go to uh heavyweight dominic reyes versus tiago santos would possibly be the best matchup for the light heavyweight belt that's my opinion on this and i mean everybody watch a fight you all have your own opinions on who won you all have your own opinions on on who won that fight i mean tell us who you think won that fight hit the comments below and let us know but i mean do you mma fans actually still believe that john jones is invincible and that with what he's been showing in his last three fights at the light heavyweight division that he can go into the heavyweight division and dominate what do you think like give us your thoughts on this one but this is g here at mma hype watch you know hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications for us you know hey help us grow so we can continue to bring you more mma content on instagram we are mma hype news we're on facebook under mma hype watch you know come join us come join the discussion as we continue to bring you more mma content thank you all so much for being here and this is g here with mma hype watch and i'm out